Hey guys, I just want to have a chat with you today and today's chat is what is your plan? And what do you mean? What is what is my plan? What is my what are you talking about, Chris? So today I'm gonna to have a chat just about kind of what, what are we doing here? So we're 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 gig driving. We're gig delivery workers, we're doing some kind of gig working app. Now I use DoorDash and Uber Eats as an example, and I use these as an example to increase revenue because it's a side hustle, it's a side gig. And gig delivery driving is an easy entry point. Most people can sign up and get involved and do it to make a little bit of extra income on the side. But it comes back down to what is your plan? Why are you doing this? What are you doing with the money? What is the end goal? So we'll focus across on gig delivery driving mostly on this one, but it can be transferred across to most side hustles that you do. But gig delivery focused on this, let's call it what it is. Let's call a spade a spade. You are a contractor. You're not your own boss. You're not a, a business owner. When I first started myself, I was like, yay, own boss, that's cool. Uh, the fact you're not, no. You're a contractor, guys, and that's that's what you do. No, no, no. You're rough on him now. No, he needs to know. Okay. He's always crying. Right, tough love it is, tough love. Wake up, idiot. So you get an offer, you accept the offer, or you decline the offer. And then if you accept the offer, you do the contracted job that you've been given, and then complete it, get paid for it, then you accept your next contract through. And you just keep looping that over and over and over again. But how many times? How many times are you going to do that for? How many deliveries are you going to do? 10,000? Uh, 50,000, 100,000 deliveries? How many deliveries? How long? Are you gonna do this for the rest of your life? In Australia, you need to be 67 years old to get your pension. And I'm asking myself, do I wanna keep working full time and doing side hustles on top and grinding and just grinding and grinding and trying to earn more and more and increasing revenue? until I'm 67. The question comes down to, do I have enough? Have I planned enough? Have I done well enough by then to stop working? Is that the end goal? Or is the end goal to keep working past 67? So I just wanna iterate through correctly. Gig work is not a career. It's a means to an end. You know, doing gig work, like you're not gonna get a promotion from doing gig work. You, there's no other roles in the company that you can move across to. You're a gig work driver. You pick up deliveries and you drive them around. That, that's what you do. You don't get a raise for working longer. You don't get seniority or tenure within a company for doing it. You're just a contractor doing deliveries and that's it. Oh, Chris, when you put it that way, that doesn't sound very good at all. Well, it's not, guys. It's a means to an end. You're trading time for money. That's all it is. There's no future in it. What it is, it's a stepping stone to whatever you want to create your future to be. With the money that you earn from gig work, you've got to start to think, what is my plan B after gig work is done? Are you saving the money aside for a house? Are you funneling it into your own side business that you own, that you are truly the boss of? Are you investing the money into markets? Are you using delivery driving to, to fill in as work experience so you can apply for a different job? Maybe you want to go work in logistics somewhere and you can turn around and say, cool, I did DoorDash driving for three years and run through that. Don't be, don't be afraid of it on a resume. Are you using it to fill in income while you're at university studying for a better job? Or you're holding it aside just to fuck off to Thailand for the next decade and just take the easy life. A few years worked on gig work, 10 years over in Thailand. It's a means to an end and it's not going to be here forever. As an example, DoorDash is investing tens of millions of dollars per year into DoorDash Labs whose pure focus is to automate delivery, to remove drivers from the equation. And it's not just DoorDash doing that, Uber's doing it, Amazon's doing it, they're all doing it. The end goal is automation of delivery. It's last mile logistics, all they want is to figure out how can we remove the driver from the equation. So I'm gonna ask a question and I want you just to think about this for a second. If people were the future at gig delivery companies like DoorDash and Uber Eats and Grubhub and what have you from there, if people were the future, why are they investing tens of millions of dollars in automation? Why aren't they investing those tens of millions of dollars into the people, giving good pay, good salaries, good wages, good bonuses, good commissions, good whatever? Why are they looking for every reason to nickel and dime drivers to pay them as little as possible? It's because automation is the future, and they know that. Every dollar, every cent that they do not pay drivers right now, they're investing into research and development for automation, because the sooner that they get automation of delivery in progress across countries, across nations, across states, across whatever regions or cities or whatever it might be, as soon as they have that rolling out, they do not need to pay drivers anymore. So it's not forever, it's a countdown. If it's five years, is it 10 years, is it 15 years? I don't know, I don't know their progress. They keep that under very lock and key. 
Of course they don't want everyone to know. They're all racing because whoever gets there first is going to dominate the market. And I don't mean to be the harbinger of doom here, but say in five years, 10 years, 15 years time, when the four horsemen of the apocalypse or the four horsemen of automation come rolling through and all drivers are slain off, dropped, fired, contracts terminated, whatever it might be, because they're replaced, what are you gonna do? What's your plan B? So right now what I'm doing is I'm saving every single dollar that I can from gig delivery driving and investing it into cryptocurrency because I see that that's going to have a huge return on what I invest now, especially in a down cycle on the market when it's all looking pretty grim. Uh, when people are, what's, what's Warren Buffett say? He says, uh, when people are fearful, be greedy. Um, and I'm being fucking greedy. I'm dumping every fucking dollar into the market right now. But while I'm extracting every dollar I can from these gig delivery companies and investing it into the market, there's still purpose to it. And that purpose is not to just make as much money as I can, bro. The purpose is my end goal is home ownership. I want to buy a house. And not just any house, I want to buy a house with a soundproof room. Now, for those that know me, like back in my 20s, I used to play in bands and I used to be a drummer. <laughs> Uh, but as I became later and later through my 20s and then now early 30s, I started to realize that you can't just set up a drum kit anymore and just play it as loud as you want. I uh, know you have neighbors and you get noise complaints and the police show up. So I want to buy a house that's got a soundproof room. So after you know a half decade of not playing drums, I can finally set up a drum kit and just play some goddamn fucking music, man. Like that's, like dude, that is my goal. That's what I want, a soundproof room in a house that I own where I can just play some fucking drums. And you know, time permit as I settle down and have kids, if my kids want to become guitarists or drummers or whatever it might be, I've got that space for them to set that legacy up so they can play music as well. So that's my means to an end, that's my goal. I'm taking all the money I can from gig delivery driving. I'm investing it incredibly high risk and aggressively. So hopefully I can get that goal of having a home with a soundproof room so I can play some fucking drums. Once that mortgage is paid off, I get time back and life just gets a little bit easier at that point, I think. Home ownership doesn't need to be your thing that you're going for. Maybe you're just going for general investment. Maybe you want to travel the world and live off dividends. Maybe you're already there. Maybe you already paid off your home and you're just looking for something to do, a little bit of extra money on the bills, something to keep your day busy. Maybe you're saving funds so you can buy a little bit of time for yourself to go off to university, to go study, to find a career that you love that pays really well at the same time. Or maybe you're funneling it into a business that's something that you're passionate and you truly care for that's gonna make you 10 times more than gig delivery driving ever will once you launch it and it gets off its feet. So I keep saying it guys, it's a means to an end. Figure out what that means to an end is. What does it look like for you? What's your goal? Because without a goal, you're just doing a delivery after delivery. Maybe you spend the money, maybe you save the money, whatever it might be, make the money purposeful. You know, it'd be a little bit morbid, guys. Like, how do you see it all ending for yourself? Do you see yourself just keeling over and kicking the bucket in a KFC while you're waiting for a delivery? Fuck, on Friday nights with the wait time, I think that's pretty realistic, actually. But all I'm saying, guys, is give purpose to this job as a means to an end. Use it as a stepping stone. Think, what can I do with this money that will get me ahead to reach a goal in the end? That, that's, that's all I'm saying, guys. Think about it. But for those who have already thought about it, leave it down below in the comments. What's your goals? What's your ambitions? What are you working towards here? How is it helping you hit them goals? Or even better, if you have hit them goals doing gig delivery work, tell us the story, share it with us. Give us some motivation, some inspiration. But other than that guys, drive safe out there, put some time aside, think about this stuff so you have that plan. And until next time, peace out.